Good afternoon, fellow Bucksters and Baguettes. Once again, you guys already know because you clicked on the video, it is your boy Bug coming through with another. <coughs> <coughs> Banger. If you are an OG subscriber tuning into the channel once again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for the awesome support. If this is your guys' first video and you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button with the post notification bell on so you can be up to date on future bangers like this one. Come on, you guys gotta hit that subscribe button so I can get a haircut because I mentioned a long time ago when I first started this channel when we hit 100,000 subscribers, which we are so close. I'm going to cut my hair bald. Yes, you heard me right, bald. It is now Mel time, baby. <laughs> Early Christmas. <laughs> for all of you that have been following my channel for quite some time now, you would know that your boy bug is upfront and honest. And with that being said, all the time I get offers to talk about people's products and review them in my videos. I do turn down quite a bit of stuff unless I feel that it has potential and it could be beneficial to my own life. With that being said, I did say yes to this company known as Top Dawn. They came out with this battery tester that can be found in the link down below. There will also be a discount code as well on the screen. You can enter that in and get a percentage off of this. I highly recommend it. I will be showing all of you how this is used. But first off, it is a battery tester, crank test, and a charging test. The purpose with this is you can eliminate a lot of other problems. So let's say, you know, you get a car or your car is not starting and you're not sure if it's your battery. You know, instead of just going buying a brand new battery, which I just did the other day, it was $140. You could just pick up one of these, hook it up to your battery and it could be fine. Then it eliminates that and you can figure out what it is from that point on. So you're not just sitting and throwing money at something over and over and over. This will help you with that. The simplicity of this battery tester is above and beyond. It's awesome, very simple, and easy to use. All you do is plug the positive to the positive, the negative to the negative. There, it has a 2.4 inch screen as displayed. It has multiple languages such as English, Russian, French, Italian, Spanish, and a couple more. So I highly recommend this again. I don't do and I turn down a lot of videos like this unless I feel that it's actually a good quality product. So if you guys are interested, again, link will be down below in the description and there will be a promo code down there as well. Definitely go check it out. It is now time to move on to the main subject of today's video. As you can see, we have a ton of license plates. This is just a small box that is crammed full and then this box right here is just stuff like everything under there is just full of license plates you know being and working around a car dealership the last couple years we have acquired tons of these and i was like hey i wonder how many of these it would take to stop a bullet i legitimately have no idea on how many of these little flexible aluminum plates that we have to use for our vehicles it would take to stop a bullet. With that being said, I want you, all of you to go down below in the comment section and let me know an exact number of how many plates it will take to stop the bullet. Honestly, such a hard guess because aluminum is so weak, flexible, it is soft however, but we have a lot of it. If I were to guess on how many plates, I'm thinking it's gonna be over 50, I'll say that. That is my guess. What's your guys's? I'm going to take five license plates and group them by using a rubber band at the top, a rubber band at the bottom, and then they will be placed like so, leaving a huge trail of them. If the shot is fired and it doesn't penetrate all the way through, we can start moving sections of the plates one by one. That way we can get an exact number on how many it takes to stop a bullet.
like I mentioned, groups of five. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, and 65. 65 license plates. Will that be enough? Now that is pretty thick and full of license plates. There's still this little bundle that would be added on right here. Just couldn't get it to fit in the box. But just to give you an idea of how these will be lined up, attempting to stop the bullet, I, you guys, this is very, very tough. Part of me thinks, okay, this is not even enough. It's gonna go right through it. Another part of me says, no, this is way overkill. You'll probably be lucky to make it halfway. I honestly just have no clue. I really want to know your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. But don't just be one of those people that guesses after watching the video so everyone else thinks you're smart. Don't do that. Now it is the final day to put these license plates to the maximum test. As you can see here, we have Clifford the Big Red Dodge, my 2011 Cummins, which is a pavement princess on this nice soft pavement up here in the beautiful bountiful Utah mountains just on the other side of this hill which I'm gonna run over there just to show you guys the view it is beautiful so I drove my truck right there that is lifting and unpractical all the way up this dirt road that wraps all the way down this mountain the road continues up right there but just take a second and look at that view freaking beautiful so blessed to be able to wake up today come out here make a video for you guys and it's just a total treat to be able to see this also kind of sprinkling right now the rain's been on and off but we just got a little break of it i believe so we're going to set up the table with all the license plates get that ammunition loaded and see what we can come up with go down below and like this video just for clifford looking so good today right now i have my taurus judge with a 45 Colt. We have one license plate set up right now just to see what damage is done to it before we put the rest together. Go? Yeah. Okay, there you have it. The 45 Colt against one plate, clean, straight through. Now I say we line the rest of them up and see if it can stop this. Honestly, after seeing how much damage it did to one plate, I don't know if all of the plates we brought will stop it. I am though, however, curious on your guys' opinions and what your answers are gonna be. How many plates will it take to stop this bullet? As of now, there's a total of 65 license plates. I don't know if this is gonna be way overkill or if it's not gonna be enough and it's gonna go blow right through it. Quinn, what do you think is gonna happen? You think it's going to go straight through? Uh -huh. All right, only one way to find out. On that shot, as you can see, we hit the upper side of the license plate and it curved off and didn't go through that many because it, I kind of missed them. So we're going to redo that. Sorry, everyone. Let me know down below in the comments how I have a horrible aim. It went through this perfectly clean. That is five aluminum license plates. And then it went through the next five after that one. And the bullet is actually still lodged into the plate. You can see it right there. We'll see if I can fish that out. And then after that one, it went towards the other five and it put a big dent in the plate. So. It just about went through 10 license plates completely and still did some damage to the, the 11th plate. But we're gonna set them up again and shoot it one more time and see how it does. All right, here is what the 45 Colt looks like after going through 10 license plates. 
They did a pretty good job stopping them. You know, if the world ever is coming to an end or there's some big bad war, just go to all your neighbor's cars, grab their license plates, tape them around your body, and you'll be safe. You just at least need 10 of them to, you know, help you. We have a fresh batch now. We're gonna do this one more time with this one, and then Quinn, what's the one you brought? A Grendel. A Grendel. Quinn's gonna bring out the big boys next. Anyways, let's see what this one does. Okay, so that shot, we have a group of five plates here, it went straight through. We have another group of five plates, it went straight through. And then we have another group of five plates, it went through. So that's 15 plates so far. Um, and then the, it knocked the rest of these on the ground. Oh, actually, here's the bullet again, you guys. So it went through 15. Oh, it just about made it through 20 plates. You can see the ridge right there from the bullet and you can see it stuffed in there right now. So let's see, it went through a total of that one it went through. Let's take off these rubber bands. So what did I say, 15, 16. Uh, that's what I thought. It went 17, there's the bullet peeking through the other side and then it punctured this side as well. So 18 license plates to be exact is what it takes to stop the 45 Colt bullet. That is unbelievable. A lot of people I asked were saying, oh, it's only gonna be this many, or no, it's gonna be way more than that. Were your guys' answers correct? Um, but before you get too excited if they were or if they weren't, we are gonna bring out one more big boy and see what it does to these plates. Look up there, we have a mysterious Quinn making his way down the hill, searching for his prey. He's a hungry bear, but will do whatever it takes to feed himself. All right, Quinn, what do we got here, buddy? 6'5 Grendel. And how many license plates do you think is it gonna take to stop this beast? All of them. All of them? I actually did bring some backup plates just in case, but I don't know if Quinn's Grendel will do that. We'll see. So we have Quinn ready. All right, Quinn, let her rip. Oh boy, oh, 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 oh boy. Okay, so we're looking through the plates and it's looking like Quinn pierced about 15 of them. We're having a hard time telling though um, on some of whose shots were whose, but like I mentioned, I did bring some extra plates so we'll reband some more in groups of five that way. Quinn can get the fresh plates. 30 fresh license plates bundled up together. Let's see if it can go through all of them. Go ahead, Quinn. Woo hoo hoo, puppy. Thirty license plates went through it like it was completely Butter. Look at that. Oh my. Wow, <laughs> look at the size of that. Oh, Gwen. <laughs> that is so gnarly. Jeez. Wow. Well, time to set up more plates. Currently now have 100 license plates banded up together to see if Quinn's Grendel can still travel all the way through it. After seeing what it did to those first 30 plates, I'm kind of thinking it might just blow all the way through. Alrighty, Quinn. 100 plates. Let's see it, buddy. <laughs> I love it. Okay, now we get a count and see if it made it all the way through. Boot his pants. That was insane. So this is the pile of plates that it did travel all the way through. He just had the bullet. Wow, that is insane. So we have five, 
10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 license plates stopped the bullet on that Grendel. That is unbelievable. My Taurus judge with the 45 Colt was totaled at 18 plates and he just did 45. Wow. Gwen, what you got now? 38. Is this just for fun? Yeah, this is just for fun. All right, let it rip. Full sends for the boys, Quinn? Yep. Oh, yes. Let me see that smile. Let me see that smile. Oh, yes. There's no reason to go back home with extra ammunition, so. Oh, I love that smell. That is pretty much going to be a wrap for today's video. Now it is time to clean up our mess because there's no reason to leave it up in these beautiful mountains. For all of you people that leave garbage like this, which I'm gonna be picking up, shame on you, you should not do that. It kind of ruins it for the rest of us, but we'll get cleaned up. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you go down below and leave a like. It helps a ton. It shows me you appreciated and enjoyed the video. It also helps the video grow. So it would mean a lot if you enjoyed it to go down and smack that button. Also, if you're tuning into the channel for your first time today, don't forget, hit that subscribe button with post notifications on. I'm cutting my hair bald at 100,000 subscribers and I know you're gonna wanna see that. This was my first time doing about like this style of video. If you guys wanna see more or have different ideas for whatever videos, let me know down below in the comment section. I'm constantly reading through them, replying to them, talking to you guys, and I'd love to get some feedback. Oh, and who was right and gave the correct guesses on how many plates it would take to stop a bullet. Don't be that person that says, oh, I was right, and, you know, just because you watched the video. I want to know if you actually legitimately left a guess and it was correct. Let me know. I'm, I'm curious to see. I was wrong. I, I was wrong for sure. Anyways, I will see all of you guys in the next vlog. Thank you so much for tuning in, commenting, liking. I'm so blessed and grateful. I truly mean it from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys so, so much. Wouldn't be where I'm at today if it wasn't for you guys. Anyhow, I hope all of you have a beautiful day, a beautiful week. Keep working hard, grinding, having fun, and don't forget, stay smiling. That's the most important thing. Other than that, your boy Bug is out. Peace.